What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. <laughs> so it's Friday and I just got out of work and I decided today I'm gonna tackle the garage because I'm getting tired. My hat's all crooked. Anyways, I'm getting tired of having to wait for the weather to chill and I don't think it's getting any better. So it looks like we're gonna have cold for a little bit still. So like I said, today I got home and today's mission is making this all clean. So we can put the EM1 in there and actually start, sorry, the battery. So we can actually start working on it with heat in a closed environment, just it's so much better than just working out on the street. Cause outside I literally, we work on it. We and my girlfriend will work on it for like five, 10 minutes. And then we're like, man, let's go back inside. It's too cold for this. But I told you guys, I still got the RX-7. I still got all the parts for it. So just because I took a pause on it to do the Civic, doesn't mean I'm not gonna build it because I still have my Billig ink plates, my motor housings, I have my wheels, I have everything for the car. So, but like I said, I got that Honda bug that we're gonna build the Civic. Woo -hee. So watch me clean out this garage. It's gonna be a, I need to do this more. It's gonna be a satisfying video to see me clear out this and turn it into a usable, space to work on the car let's do it so this is what i have so far I got like 10 different scissor jacks. I got some K-series parts, some B-series parts. These are off of old, an old GSR head. Look, a K-20 head. Uh, oil pan off of Durango that my dad was working on it. This, some, the pool stuff, the pool stuff is going in the basement. So these boxes are all going in the basement. I don't know what I'm gonna do this with this crazy cart. It needs a battery, but that's my JDM block. So this is how it looks so far. So where I'm at right now is that I don't have any trash bags and almost 90% of what's in here besides the tools is trash. So like all these tools are trash, all this, all this is trash. There's my spare transmission, B16. All the parts for it right there. I just gotta put it together. I haven't had time because of all this mess. Look, look, I got a brand new cart right there. Snap on this, I gotta throw it away. I don't know if I should post it on Craigslist. Do you guys even use that anymore? But yeah, I'm not worried about that side. I'm basically cleaning from here this way so like this rack by the way there's an attic back up here so like that is going up there um what else a lot of the good parts like the hubcaps the headlight like a lot of that stuff is going up there so i'm not throwing that away but like you see like those reservoirs like that this is a lot of stuff in here that i i'm never gonna use so, like I have to organ, look at this. This is from like two years of me just coming in here and grabbing, oh, I just need a 10, I just need a 12. Oh, I just gotta do this job real quick. And I just, as soon as I finish, I throw everything on here and I leave. So I need to stop doing that. I need to organize that. I need to organize this. Almost everything that's on there is trash. From what? I don't know. 
but almost nothing in there is tools. So, like I said, as soon as I get some heavy duty trash bags, I'll be able to throw out almost all of this. Like, like for example, this potting mix, I'll probably put outside, like all these cans, trash. Skateboard, trash. This bucket, trash. Like, see this, this is all just trash. That toolbox, I'm probably gonna post on Facebook because this has been sitting in this corner for I can say at least 15 years. And I have a motto. If you haven't used it in one year, just throw it out. You're not gonna use it, man. Just throw it out and chances are Oh, by the way, I just found a brand new wiper in here that I needed for my hatch. Um, you guys like the little pickup, huh? <laughs> That's my trusty daily, I take this everywhere, man. See, like all this is trash. I need to bag all this up. This is stuff that doesn't work. That's trash. So, I don't know if you guys can visualize it, but as soon as I'm done picking up all that trash, this garage will basically be cleared up and ready to use. I don't know if I'm gonna paint the floor yet because I'll be, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I paint it before I take the motor out? Cause I used to just use it. I used to bring the car in here and I went to Harbor Freight and I had this nice like little carpet that you lay on here and I would just man I had this so clean you guys can see my South Bay injectors um, banner Steven needs to make some AA fab banners so I can hang it up there if you know you know if you know you know I don't know if this is the original one, but I can say I bought this from Aki. I think this was one of his first, first drops. And it's just been sitting there. I don't touch it. This is my garage uh, decoration, honestly. But yeah, I'm gonna head to Home Depot now, grab some bags and get back to work. All right, guys, so I'm on my way to Home Depot to get these uh, heavy duty trash bags because uh, those uh, regular home trash bags, they don't do justice. We need those Husky bags that you could put metal in it if you need to and they won't break or anything. They're basically done made for uh, construction sites, so. By the way, if you're wondering why there's a wire sticking out of my glove box, it's because I have my radio in there. I like the look of everything being original. So instead of dripping this out, oh, you hear me? <laughs> you can hear all the stuff in the back of my pickup moving around, but. But yeah, I like the look of, when people look inside my car, I like it when it looks all original. And yes, I need these buttons. I don't know how they broke off. I When I bought it, this one was missing. And this one, I went to Florida, uh, to Orlando Speed World. And when I came back home, it was popped off. So I don't know if it was the sun or I don't know, man. I just know that I went to Florida, I came back, and the other one was popped off too. But you can, I don't know, I didn't force it or anything. I mean, the horn doesn't work, so I don't know why it would have broke off. But, um, ouch. This is what I get for making a video. You catch potholes for not paying attention. And yes, I need gas. Well, actually, I don't. This gauge, if you have a 1996, or actually any early Honda, you'll see your gauge go up. If you go up a hill, it goes down. 
or if you go down a hill it goes up i don't know one of the two but i just know it, it fluctuates up and down so here we go You can tell I have a bunch of metal and parts back there because you can hear it. Oh! I'm going to show you guys something cool. Meet my cousin. My cousin. <laughs> my car's little cousin. Look. Whoa. Hello. All right, guys. We're here at Home Depot so we can pick up those heavy-duty bags, man. Hello, buddy. We're here to pick up the heavy duty bags because you know, them heavy duty bags they don't break, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. Good heavy duty bags. Okay, my friend. Good heavy duty bags, you know. Those are the good bags. Home Depot, doggy doggy. Where are you, heavy duty bags? Oh, there you are. Shoo. $30 for some bags? Jesus, but juicies. This is a lot of money for some bags. Man, man, man. $30 for some bags. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. I told the lady, I was like, why are you charging me so much for some bags? She said, shining times have changed. I said, they sure have. She said, I don't even want to get guys. I said, I don't blame you, ma'am. I said, I used to fill up with $20. And now $20 don't even give me half a tank. She said, oh, honey, we got to get some motorcycles. <laughs> that was a cool lady, man. I like running into people like that, that they look at the positive side of everything. And that's how you got to do it, man. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's getting really dark already, man. I can't wait till daylight savings is back. Because we really need this extra hour. I literally came to get trash bags and it got dark. So I guess I'm going to do a, have to do a part two of this video because unless I work on it, but nah, I've been working all day. It's time to show my girlfriend some love, some time. I think I did enough for today. So I'm gonna wrap this up right here, guys. Uh, tomorrow, I'll do the part two. I'll wake up early. I'll take you guys with me to the scrap yard, the scrap metal yard, whatever you call it. Maybe we can get a couple hours out of it. But I'll take you guys on a ride to take this there. I'll probably end up putting more stuff as I clean. I'll start run, like picking up more stuff out of the garage that I don't need. Um, and hey, I've gotten better saying, um, or maybe I didn't. <laughs> oh, well, who cares? Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow, I'm going to do the part two. And it's going to be a really, I already said this. I said this. Sorry. I said this was going to be a satisfying video. I don't know how much you saw that I took out. But tomorrow with the trash bags you're gonna see the real difference but anyways like i said thanks for watching please subscribe if you're new to this channel and you're just learning into it please give it a like and just subscribe and you're gonna see a lot of content right now we're cleaning out the garage so we can put the em1 in there and start working on it without having to worry about weather without without having to worry about if it's day if it's night Whenever we want to work on the car, we go in the garage and we do it. All right, guys. Have a great Friday. Be safe. This is Bad Boy Racing signing out.